first thing we're going to do is clean out all these holes these threaded holes and also some of these passage holes with uh, to get the old sealant out we're going to use a pew pew cleaner I bought this just to clean this out I'm going to use brake cleaner to do so we're going to spray it on there and then in and out of the hole and do that until there is no more sealant and nothing coming out of there so let's get going all right so we're just going to go down in there this set just has various size brushes and it doesn't look well there is some dirt coming off there kind of see so the next one up we're just going to do that uh, oh yeah as you can see it's kind of already got gunk coming out of there spray a little bit more brake cleaner oh yuck not sure exactly what this size is but I think it had a 45 on it all right so we're just going to hit all the holes real quick with an initial hit oh yeah that was nasty that was pretty nasty too oh yeah there's a little gunk coming out of that one all right we're going to clean that brush off and hit some more so the reason you want to clean these out real good is that they go into your water passage and so you want to get all that old sealant out of there. So I sprayed a little brake cleaner directly on it. All right, I don't know if I necessarily need to do this, but I'm cleaning out some of the other holes. Trying to get a good fresh start here. And there's some junk in there, but not too bad. So we're gonna run our tap through here and just kind of clean up some threads and go from there. All right, so we have our 7 sixteenths by 13 tap and we're just going to run it down some of these make sure they're nice and clean So I don't want to cut new threads particularly, but I just want to clean out the threads that are already there. So we're really kind of just doing this by hand. Some of these didn't look so hot coming out of here. It looks all right. And if they are stripped, I just want to put a fresh set in there. And hopefully it will hold. Otherwise, I need to drill it out, put a helicoil in, and all that good stuff, which I don't really want to do. So, yeah, a little bit of gunk there. So, we'll clean that out. Go back at it. So, if some holes are cleaner than others. This one, particularly, let's do the location. Having to use like an adjustable wrench. I don't like using just wrenches ever. There's enough resistance I can't do it by hand, but I'm not feeling it really cutting per se. So it's probably just dirt and gunk and 50, 70 years worth of stuff down in there. That we're just battling against. See, that's probably good. That's 
pretty far down in there. 